Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing all of you how you can bring videos into your new DaVinci Resolve 17 project. So here we are at the projects window. If you don't already know how to create a new project, you simply go down to the bottom right hand corner where we're going to see this new project button. Click on that and give it a name. So I'll just call this bring videos into project you can really give it any name you need and then just go ahead and hit enter and then davinci resolve should load onto one of its pages for me it's defaulting to cut so cut is one of the video editing workflows the traditional one is edit so whichever video editing page you happen to be on there's a good chance that the media pool is going to be an option here located in the top left hand section so you can see the media pool is there for the cut page Likewise, on the edit page, we have it over here on the left hand side. Uh, you may see things a little differently. There may be an effects library like this. So the media pool is a smaller window. Uh, look for the no clips and media pool and that should be a dead giveaway. And also on the media page as well, we have the media pool down here. So the media pool represents the clips, audio files, images and so on that exist inside of your video project. Now they are references to the locations on your computer where those files are stored. When you bring a file into here, it's not actually bringing a literal copy of the file, just a reference of it. And over here on the media page as well, we can see a different tab, media storage. So the media storage tab has a few features for finding files on your computer, such as the ability to add a preset location over here where you like to store things like video clips or maybe finished project files. So in my opinion, the quickest way to bring a file in is just going to be to drag and drop onto the media pool. So if I look click at the top of the window here, hold the left mouse button down and then drag this a little bit, we should be able to pull it out of full screen mode if it's already in it. You can also shrink the size of the window if you need to. And here you can see I have some files stored on my desktop. So what you can do is just locate the files manually on your computer where you have them saved to, whether that's your username downloads folder, your desktop, or another location that you record video files to. So you can just use Windows File Explorer or the Mac and Linux equivalent, and then just locate wherever you have those files stored. So either way you do it, you can just drag and drop files into the media pool here. So if I left click, hold and drag this file, I can just drag it onto no clips and media pool. And that's going to add it to the project. Now, if there's different settings on this video clip, than your project defaults, you may see this box change project frame rate. So if we hit change, what this is going to do is it's going to match the project settings to the file we're bringing in. So if you don't want to overwrite your project settings, then you should hit don't change. So I'll go ahead and do that here. And if you want to see what your project settings actually are, then in resolve, you can go up to the file menu, go down to project settings. And then you can see here what your timeline resolution is set to default the timeline frame rate and so on. So we can change these if we want, I'm going to change the timeline frame rate to 30 frames per second. You can see the playback frame rate updates here automatically to match that. 1080p resolution is just fine for me. So I can take this and hit save. So this will update for the current project. And we can actually only do that if we don't have a timeline created already. So a timeline is what you actually edit your video files on. If you've already added stuff to the timeline, then you have to either create a new project or just delete everything, including the timeline in order to change it. So be aware of that. Let's go back to file project settings. And let's say that we want to use these same settings anytime we bring in new files into the project. So you can go to presets. And with these current settings, the 30 frames per second, I'm going to hit save as in presets. And I'll just call this 1080p 30 FPS hit OK as a preset. And now if we want to use this whenever we load resolve, right click and do save as user default config. So let's go ahead and hit cancel now. And now every time we boot up the project, it should have those settings. Anyway, back to the actual video files. We can see we have this video clip in the media pool here. And you can view it either in a thumbnail mode. You can kind of scrub through the video clip and get a thumbnail image preview here, seeing exactly what you're looking at. Or you can go into a list view mode if you'd rather read the details of the metadata of the of the file. And that's going to include things like start in duration, the number of frames, the resolution, the frames per second, and where it's stored on your computer. So now when we want to bring our video file into the timeline, 
let's go to the edit or cut page you can see a blank timeline really there's nothing in here the timeline file hasn't been created in our project but as soon as we left click on our video file drag and drop it into here uh, it's going to immediately create a timeline so I let go and you can see timeline one is up here in the media pool as well it is possible to have multiple timelines inside of one project one way you can do that is uh, going up to the file menu and hitting new timeline if you need to work on two different video sequences in the same project and we can kind of just scrub through our video clip on the timeline and start editing it however we need to now before we wrap up this video let's go back over to the media page i mentioned the media storage section over here so let's talk a little bit about uh, how you can add in a default location when you want to quickly find files and bring them into your video project so this would be useful if you have a let's say default clip storage location on your computer somewhere you save all your files to and you just want to keep reusing that across projects so i can right click here and choose add new location so we just need to choose a location on our computer so in my case i can choose the desktop here and then choose select folder so if i left click on this new link here uh, you can see onedrive we have these files and we can drag any of them we want into the media pool which on the media page once again is down here at the bottom i'll go to thumbnail view because uh, that will make it easier to see which one we already have and then to match that up so i'm gonna left click on one i want to bring in i'll hold control down so that i can add additional items to the selection one at a time and just bring all of these files down here into the media pool so now we just added four new video clips to our project can go back over on the edit page to add it to the timeline or the cut page let's try the cut page this time uh, so we can see the timelines look a little different here we have the entire timeline represented here a uh, zoom in of the timeline down here and you can see a lot of thumbnail images as the video clip progresses and so we can drag the extra clips we need onto here and start editing them and now we can left click once again drag this i'll just put it right here at the end of this timeline and what you see is this bar expands to now show all five of these video clips in one timeline so at the bottom, you can only see part of it at a few seconds. This middle bar will always show the entire timeline. Now note, that bar doesn't exist on the edit page. So there's differences between the two workflows, but both of those pages can do the same thing. One final way, just for completion, that you can import some clips is you can go up to the file menu and choose import. And if you choose media here, then you can select any video file, audio file, or image files on your computer and bring them into the project. So here it's kind of the same thing, Windows File Explorer. So I could go to desktop, select a video, hit open. So that's pretty much all the ways you need to know about how you can bring video clips into your project so that you can use them on your timeline to start editing in DaVinci Resolve 17. I hope this video was easy to follow and helpful for all of you. So thank you for watching and I will see all of you in my future video content.